Okay, this is an example of a mediation analysis in SPSS. The situation here is I have one dependent variable, which I'm calling word count. It's a measure of emotional responsiveness to music. This um, variable here is represents an autism, high-functioning autism group, uh, together with a control group. The autism groups coded by one and the control group by zero. This column is one of the factors in an alexithymia questionnaire that I administered. This is taken from some real data. Uh, although it's been uh, simplified, the original analysis had rather more IVs than this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, uh, I'm going to illustrate that there is a mediation process going on between these two independent variables and this dependent variable. And one of the um, key aspects of mediation is that all the variables should correlate pairwise. That's one of the things that we're looking for. So I'm going to do a pairwise correlation of all these variables. And I find that they are indeed all significantly correlated. This means, of course, that if um, if we did a linear regression just using one of these variables, like the ASD control group, membership of the control group, this is, by the way, a dichotomous variable, so we can put straight into regression as an independent variable. We don't have to dummy code it first. We will get a significant result, which is just merely telling us that the group, the ASD group and the control group, differ on this DV. They significantly differ. But also, if we put the... Um, BVAQ, the, the alexithymia factor, in, we would also get a very significant result. What I'm going to do now is just do a linear regression and see what happens when we um, put both IVs together into the analysis. We find that, um, in fact, the uh, ASD control group variable is now dropped out of the significance level, uh, and only the um, the alexithymia variable is is significant. This is classic the classic sign. It's like a kind of diagnostic criterion of mediation going on, and what it suggests is that the fact that the ASD and control groups differ on the word count variable is is explained by the fact that they also differ on alexithymia, and this suggests that it's the alexithymia variable that is the the mediator for the effect of autism on on the DV. It suggests in fact that it only suggests it doesn't prove uh, but it is certainly consistent with the hypothesis that the mechanism by which autism affects responsiveness on tasks such as this and there are other tasks, there are empathy tasks which have also been uh, carried out, and it's been found that the variable which accounts for the difference between the autism and the control groups is contained in the alexithymia variable, suggesting that possibly there is a neural mechanism corresponding to, if you like, to this statistical mechanism.